everyone, it's Moose and thank you so much for joining me back here. So today we are going to do a different kind of video. I've never done one of these videos, but I'm very excited. I really enjoy watching people tier rank, whatever it may be, um, favorite series, you know, book characters, you know, whatever. I really enjoy watching that, so I wanted to do one myself. So today we are going to be tier ranking the books within my three favorite series. The series are kind of typical but they hold a lot of value in my heart, I guess you could say. They're very nostalgic for me. These three series I read back in middle school, which is really when I started reading for pleasure, like hardcore. So I contribute a lot of my love for reading to these three series, and that is Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, and Twilight. And I know that they're not perfect. Um, JK Rowling can do whatever she wants to. I still love Harry Potter. It will always be one of my favorite stories. And so today I am going to be tier ranking the books within these three series. Sam is currently napping. So if you see me grab this every once in a while, I'm checking to make sure he's still breathing. <laughs> and to help me on this journey, I have my Hufflepuff tumbler, um, which my best friend got me. So anyways, let's get started. I just reread two out of these three series. I reread Twilight and The Hunger Games this past year, actually recently within the last couple of months. I reread Twilight in preparation for Midnight Sun. I reread The Hunger Games with Ethan because he had never read them before. So a lot of this is fresh in my memory and my opinions have changed here recently since the first time I read through these series. So I have four different categories in my little chart. I have faves, all right, because it's my faves. I have almost fave, which are, you know, the books that I really enjoy, but they're not like top tier. You know what I'm saying? I have They Good. I feel like that one's pretty self-explanatory. They're good, but they're not my fave. And then I get it. I didn't put any tiers for, I just straight didn't like them. Uh, there's not really any books that I just straight didn't like, but there are some that I'm just like, eh, yeah, it's fine. I get it. I get why it's in the series. It might have certain story plots that are relevant to the storyline, you know, that kind of thing, but it's definitely not my favorite and it's probably one that I look not forward to reading. <laughs> that I don't look forward to reading. That's a better way to put that. So um, as far as let's get started. So I'm just going to go in the order that they're here on um, my page, all the series aren't together, but that's okay. Should I do it like that or should I do the series together? Mm. Let's do the series together. Okay, so let's start with Midnight Sun since it's here first. Listen, boom, it's gonna go up to faves. This book was so much fun to read. I enjoy the Twilight plot, the first book, so much better through Edward's perspective. I mentioned this in my reading vlog and in my recent reads video, but it, whenever I go to reread through the series, because I do every couple years, whenever I reread through the series again, I'm not even going to read Twilight. I'm just going to read Midnight Sun for the first part of the story. Then let's go ahead and do Twilight. <laughs> I get it. It's the introduction to the story. Um, it was written way before Midnight Sun, years and years and years. It was necessary to set up the story plot. However, reading through it this time, it was my least favorite. Yeah, I did not enjoy it the way that I have in the past. It was kind of just one of those things that I had to do to get to the other books. So I get it, it's necessary, but since Midnight Sun has come out, is it really necessary? I don't know. <laughs> then we'll do a new moon. This time, boom, it was almost fave. I really enjoyed this one more so than the other ones. It might have been my favorite in the series, you know, apart from A Night Sun, this time reading through them. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed Jacob's character a lot more this time through the series, which I think contributes to my feelings about New Moon, considering it's pretty much his book. So yeah, almost fave. Then comes Eclipse. Um, it's, it's good. It's good. I think it's overhyped. A lot of people have this one as their favorite. Not at all for me, especially not this time around. I was kind of underwhelmed, if I'm being honest. Obviously, it sets up the storyline and re like concludes the storyline with Victoria and James and stuff, you know, kind of the story plot that started from the very first book. I get it. It's needed to resolve that storyline, but in the grand scheme of things, it's okay. It's it's just good. It's not one of my faves but it's way above, I get it, you know. Breaking Dawn, um, 
one of these two. I would say almost fave. Not fave, it used to be my favorite before I read through the series this time. Actually, I think I enjoyed New Moon more than Breaking Dawn this time, but it is good. The only thing I don't put it up here in the faves is I think it's a little long. I don't know, I just feel like the, the plot in this one is too drawn out to be in the fave column. If anything, it might, I don't know, it might just, it might go down here. <laughs> I don't know. I think it will. I think it will go down there. It's fine. It's good. It's not even almost fave anymore. This time around change that. Okay. Next let's do the Hunger Games series. Trilogy. However you want to say it. I'm not good about saying like trilogy or duology. It's just always a series for me. The Hunger Games. It's good. It's good. I really enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed the other two books more. Um, Catching Fire. Fave. It's my favorite in the series. I don't know what it is. A lot of, I don't know. I, I know that the beginning of the book is really drawn out. You know, they don't even make it to the arena until over halfway through the book. But, I don't know. It's one of my favorites. I really enjoy it. Actually, I might move this up here. No. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> it's not. It's not almost one of my faves. It's just, it's good. It's not almost one of my faves. I've got to be honest with myself. It's too awkward. Katniss and Peeta's relationship in the first book is just too awkward for me to be almost one of my faves. So, Mockingjay, however, I think I'm just going to put it here too. Mm, I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. It's not almost one of my faves. Again, I've got to be honest with myself. It's not almost one of my faves. It's good. This time around, I realized how sad this book is. Yeah, it left me feeling very empty, <laughs> which I do not like that feeling, especially since I read it right before Ethan was about to leave. Ethan is gone for a couple months, um, so yeah, it was just not good timing for me this time, I guess. That and, like Breaking Dawn, I feel like it has last book syndrome where it's kind of just too drawn out. There's a lot of stuff in there that I understand why it's in there, but at the same time, um, it's easily forgotten afterwards, so does it really matter that much? You know what I'm saying? That and why you gotta do some of the characters like that, Suzanne Collins? Why? All right, on to Harry Potter. This one I feel like is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm missing one of the books. Where's Chamber of Secrets? <sighs> Dang it. Okay, they're all there now. Let's do it. Okay, first Sorcerer's Stone. It's good. It's just good. I feel like a lot of these are going to be in that category. Um, yeah, it's good. It's necessary. It sets up the plot. It's, you know, innocent in a way. But it's not one of my faves. And it's not almost one of my faves. It's just good. Chamber Secrets, I feel like, is the same. I found it a little bit more interesting just because you get a little bit more of Voldemort within that one. But it's fine. I feel like I'm going to get some heat for this one. Okay, yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban is going to go here too. A lot of people consider this one of their favorites, and I get it. But at the same time, uh, Voldemort's not even really in this one that much. <laughs> and I find him to be one of the most interesting characters, if I'm being honest with you. His backstory is, is I don't know, one of my favorite parts of the series, I think. And while Sirius is great as a character, he's one of my favorites, he's like, one of the only characters I've ever cried over. Yeah, it's not almost one of my favorites. If I'm being honest, it could almost go down here. Almost, but not quite. I do enjoy it a little bit more. But it's not one that I'm like, yes, I can't wait to get to this one. Contrastingly, Goblet of Fire. Super good. It actually might go up here. It's not my favorite in the series. But I definitely understand why people have it as their favorites. I think I am going to put it as one of my faves, though. Yeah, it's fast-paced. There's a lot happening. And it's really when, like, you get, like, a face full of Baltimore. Like, here is your antagonist in the series. I like it. I like that you get some backstory to it. Backstory is my fave, by the way. A lot of people could take it or leave it. It's one of my favorite things in a series is when you understand why a character is the way they are. Next, Order of the Fiend. Yeah, I feel like I'm not alone in this. It's my least favorite. This is another one of those filler books, I feel like. I don't know, I feel like it drags up until the very end. A lot of stuff happens at the very end. 
Um, but yeah, it's not one of my favorites. It's not even, it's not bad. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it's not that good, um, but it's not that good. <laughs> it's not bad. I enjoy it at the end. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like the beginning is so drawn out. Even when Ethan read through the series, he he complained about this one to me. It's too much filler at the beginning. Then we have Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put it in front of Goblet of Fire just because it is my favorite in the series. Because of the backstory. Listen, you get a lot of Voldemort's backstory. You get a lot of James and Lily's backstory. Um, you even find out a bunch of stuff about Dumbledore. Yeah. I enjoy this one. It's my favorite in the series. It's gonna go with the faves. All right, last one, and then this video is over, is Deathly Hallows. And I think I'm gonna put it right here. Almost fave. Um, just because I feel like this one has a bunch of filler too. Let me let me go back and talk about one more thing in, in Half-Blood Prince. I really enjoyed all the Horcrux stuff. Uh, learning how that works. You know, hearing Dumbledore's little get together. I like that stuff. Back to Deathly Hallows. It's not one of my faves, but it's not just good. Um, yeah, it's in between. I feel like this is a good place for this one. I enjoy the resolution of the book. I enjoy seeing Harry and Hermione's little journey together. The only reason it's not up here is I do feel like there are a bunch of dead spaces within their journey, you know, with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. There's a lot of camping, um, a lot of stuff that I won't say is not necessary, but again, back to Mockingjay. There's a lot of stuff within it that if it was taking out, um, taken out, I wouldn't necessarily remember it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna go here, not up here. It's, it's, it's almost one of my faves. It's better than good, but not a fave. And there we go. This was a lot more fun than I had anticipated. Um, I would like to do another one of these. I don't know what I would do it on, but I really enjoyed it. Let me know down below. Blech cover my mouth when I'm out in public don't worry let me know down below if you agree with me if you disagree with me I feel like there's a lot of stuff on this list that people will disagree with but that's okay I'm anxious to hear what your thoughts are also let me know if you would want to do if you would want me to do another one of these it was a lot of fun but I again I don't know what I would do it on I don't know what I would tier rank so just let me know I kind of want to do one of all the books that I've read this year maybe towards the end of the year that would be a lot of fun I think so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I am thankful for you. And we'll be back here next time, guys. See ya!